Welcome to Moving Forward for Life with Rosita. Discover your way home. When you find yourself on a new path in life, whether planned or unexpected, you may feel lost and unsure which path to take. Your decisions of how to move forward may be tainted by adversities of your younger life. I will partner with you so you can discover what you need to come home, whether that is a physical home or the home in you. Moving Forward for Life with Rosita starts now. Hi, and welcome to Moving Forward for Life with Rosita, Discover Your Way Home. I'm Rosita, your discovery coach and realtor, and I partner with you to determine what you need to come home, whether that's a physical home or the home in you. Choosing the trajectory of your life is within your reach. You have a choice. I'm so excited for our show today. We have with us um, Paige Sturgeon. We're going to be talking about home mortgage home loans in today's real estate market. He's going to um, give you some tips and just educate you on what's going on with the home loans nowadays. So welcome, Paige. Hi, Rosita. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here to share my experience and knowledge and partnering with you over these many years and helping all, all these uh, buyers get into the homes. And it's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just give um, our listeners a couple highlights from your bio so they know, kind of get a gist of who you are. Thank you. So Paige was born and raised in San Diego, complete, total native to San Diego. Yes. Yeah, not many, <laughs> huh? Not many. <laughs> um, he graduated from CSU Fullerton with a degree in international finance and upon graduation immediately started in the mortgage industry. So he has about 24 years of experience. He's the licensed broker and co-owner of Granite Mortgage Incorporated. Mm -hmm. His goal and desire is to ensure that the loan and home buying process is a smooth and positive experience for his clients. And I can tell you that that is absolutely true. Paige is so easy to work with. He answers your questions. I always refer my clients to him because I know that they will be taken care of. And we have the same type of um, mindset when it comes to taking care of our clients. It's all about the clients, educating them, helping them to come to a decision that is fruitful for their situation. And it's different for everybody, right, Paige? It is, it is. And I really enjoy meeting with people and kind of putting a game plan and a program together. Because I'd say probably maybe 50% of the people I meet with, they're not ready to buy yet, but they just need a plan. They need an action plan. And so that's what I do is I, I'm kind of a coach and a counselor. I put all the pieces of their financial um, life together and say, hey, here's where we're at today. And if we're not ready today, we'll get you ready for the future. If that's your goal and your dream is going to home, then I'm going to partner with you and coach you on how to do that. And that's the rewarding part of my business. I don't really worry about commissions. I kind of look at it as a ministry because I love to help people. They have a goal and I'm kind of want to coach them and give them hope so they can achieve it. That's that's basically the bottom line. That's my philosophy. I know that's yours, Rosita. People appreciate that. If you're patient with people and you're sensitive to their situation, because, hey, let's face it, life is messy sometimes. You know, you're, <laughs> sometimes. Hey, you know, yeah, <laughs> every day, right? Oh my gosh. But, but because of things from the past, that doesn't mean it's going to prevent you from owning a home in the future, right? So if it's a divorce or a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, loss of job, just things happen with your credit. My job is to say, hey, here's where we're at. Here's what we need to do. Here's the action plan. And I'm going to coach you along the way to help you achieve this goal, right? I love yeah. doing that. Yeah. And we, that's how we work together so well. Cause I coach on the real estate side. I'm always joking with my clients and saying, okay, so Paige is like the dad. That's who you go to, to get the money. And then I take you shopping. So that's yeah, the fun that, part that, of it. That's, the, that's such a good analogy. Cause it's so true because if, if you don't have the money, things ain't happening. Right. I mean, unless yeah. you got all cash, which that's not most people. They're going to usually need to get some sort of financing. And it's, and it's very complex. 
The loan programs are changing daily. Interest rates are changing daily. The market is just very dynamic. You know, with COVID, with, with COVID, it wasn't a great thing. Obviously, a lot of people got sheltered. Businesses couldn't, you know, function. People were hurting. So rates came down, right? So it was yeah. a really good time for a lot of people to refinance, redo their mortgage, save money. And also a lot of people to jump in the market with the way the prices have been. Cheap money means you can afford these higher prices. That's and right. Now the party's over. Okay. <laughs> the party is over. The party's <laughs> over. The hangover is here now because money was so cheap for so long for over two years. Inflation is ramped up, right? So it's the highest it's been in 40 years. And so yeah. obviously we're seeing it at the gas pumps. We're seeing it in the grocery store. We're seeing it if you're doing home renovations or buying supplies because of the supply chain issues that COVID brought. So, so what's going on now is the Fed is putting the gas on the pedal. They're saying we need to raise rates to kind of balance out inflation um, because it's getting out of hand. And, and you can see it with the prices. So I think with rates coming up, because now they're around almost 5%. I was going to ask you because yes. we initially at the beginning of the year it was projected to go up to four percent this year, and yeah. we that yeah. that's gone. Four percent is gone, and it's only yeah. April. I know exactly. And it, to be honest with you, it's faster than I thought. I mean, everything I was reading, everything I was hearing, what the Fed was saying at the end of last year: Hey, we're going to raise maybe three to five times, slowly measured over the course of 2022. Well. Well, that, you know, they took the gloves off in January and they said, hey, this is inflation's higher than we thought. The market's moving too fast. Prices are getting too high. We need to step on the accelerator now and raise it sooner and more. So instead of measured quarter hits to the federal funds rate, it's now they're talking about half. So and the market's already adjusted because when the Fed opens their mouth and they say these things, the market moves. So the market's already moving for the Fed to move more aggressively and it's already happened and it's gonna to continue to happen. So it'll be interesting in the next few months because we got the Ukraine going on now with Russia. That's affecting- The election, people. I mean- The election, there's a lot there's, of uncertainty. There's a right? lot of moving parts. I mean, getting a home loan, it, yep. it, it's infected by, or affected, sorry. <laughs> Uh -huh. by everything else in the world. So it's not yes. a simple thing. But I no. want to I want to talk about the myth that a lot of buyers have that you have to put 20% down as a, as a down payment. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you have a lot of different loan programs. Mm -hmm. um, so clear up that myth for buyers right there. Yeah, that's that's one of the largest myths, Rosita, you're right, to bring that up. I, I talk to people and they say, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And I said, well, how come you're not ready? And they go, well, because I haven't saved 20% to put down. And I go, well, you don't. Um, There's some great programs. We get, I'm just going to name a few real quick. So on an FHA loan, you can get in with 3.5% down. A lot of first-time homebuyers use that. With VA, if you've served in the military or in the past and were honorably discharged, you can do zero down. If you buy in rural communities with USDA, you can do zero down. If you do a standard conventional loan, which most banks do, you can get in with as little as three to 5% down. So you don't need to save a ton of money to get into the market. Um, you can actually get in with very low down um, and maybe you might be ready sooner than you think. And that's why it's good to just lob a call out there, meet and get educated on the process, where you're at now, if you're not ready, we'll get you ready um, because we're going to check credit. We're going to look at your income. We're going to look at your monthly bills. We're going to look at your cash and savings, retirement investments, and kind of have a big picture of where you're at financially. And then say, hey, yeah, you could do this. Here's what it looks like. Or right. if you're not ready, let's, hey, in the next six months, three months, a year, let's get you ready. And so starting that conversation, because obviously the longer you wait, the more prices I think are going to continue to go up a little bit. The rates are going to help kind of stabilize and slow it down. Okay. But rents aren't going down. Oh my God. So rents, rents are going up just as fast as, as prices are. So, if, I mean, in San Diego, you know, Rosita, how expensive it is. I mean, it's but if you can, the rent. Right. No, but almost. if you can pay that much for rent, Right. Why not find out if you can qualify? And it's and it's no cost to you. No, there's no cost for it. It's just my time. And I enjoy it actually because I get to meet with people, kind of develop a relationship. They kind of see my philosophy, how I work. And again, I'm their coach. I'm their counselor. So right. 
Um, and that's the fun part because I enjoy it. I enjoy count, counseling and teaching people because there's a lot of little tidbits of information to know. You the just, and it's benefit. such a short time it is. from the time that you put an offer in the house to actually closing, especially nowadays. Yeah, 20, so, they want to close in 20 days now. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so what I heard you say is that uh, three and a half percent is possible, but mm -hmm. also um, where you can get that, where a buyer can get that three and a half percent could mm -hmm. be from your 401k. You can Absolutely. borrow from yourself. You can get a gift letter from... Um, mm -hmm. relatives, your parents. Mm -hmm. So there are different options to get your down payment. It's a really good question, Rosita, that you brought up or a really uh, good statement about retirement because most people save in their retirement, okay? And the advantage of borrowing from your retirement is you're borrowing from yourself. And so if you just liquidate, you're going to pay federal taxes and state taxes on that as income. And then you're going to usually be paid a 10% penalty typically, okay? So why would you want to give up 30 to 40% of that if you liquidated the 401k retirement? So that's why most people take a loan against it, because if you borrow from yourself, you're paying yourself back with interest. And that's what most people do. A lot of people save in the retirement. And I'm seeing more and more of that where people are using their retirement to own, some, own a home and so, as opposed to waiting four or five, six years to save that money, right? So right. really good point. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And also... You know, a lot of us want to get into the kind of home that maybe somebody else has, right? That's four mm -hmm. bedroom, 2,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your first home is not, <laughs> most of the time, your first home is not going to be your forever home. That's right. It's a stepping so you gotta stone. you got to start. Yeah, you it's a start. stepping stone. Yeah, you know it's I mean? just a stepping stone. Because mm -hmm. the point is, is that why, if you're paying $3,000 for rent, mm -hmm. okay, you could possibly qualify for a home loan and start paying yourself in the equity you will earn when you own your own home. That's right. And then the after a couple of years, you can you can refi to get that um, mortgage insurance off of that, right? That's correct. So if you put less than 20% down, banks are going to charge you what we call PMI, private mortgage insurance. Um, there's other creative ways to get around it. If you wait in the future, you can get it canceled by a new appraisal and yada, yada, yada. But it's not easy to do. Um, most people refinance, right, to get rid of it. Um, usually, especially if rates are lower, because they can not only get rid of their mortgage insurance, but also lower the rate, which will give them more savings each month. But um, yeah, PMI is a, a, a basically foreclosure insurance the bank charges if you put less than 20% down. So, um, and obviously, you know, we want to avoid it if we can, if you have that much of a down payment, great. But if not, it's something that you can definitely cancel in the future by doing a refi or having the bank cancel it uh, with a new appraisal. So, yeah, that's why I coach people on that too. When they call me, <laughs> they say, Hey, rates have come down, you know, how much can it save me? Does it make sense for me to refinance? And every situation is different. So I run calculations to see if it's worth it for them to refinance. Yeah. Yeah, every situation is different. So just because your aunt, you know, got qualified for this doesn't mean that you will. It just really depends on a couple of things, right, Paige? The yes. debt to income, yep. your FICO score, yep. and um, how much your salary is. That's right. That's right. And then how much equity they have, too, because it's going to be based on a new appraisal. So if they bought two years ago, now the home's worth way more. It's probably pretty easy to get rid of mortgage insurance now. Right. Or if they want to redo the kitchen, right? Or build an AD, ADU or a separate dwelling because that's popular now here in San Diego. So um, you can take your equity out to do renovations or consolidate debt. There's so many, you know, send Johnny to college. So yeah. many different conversations I have with my client to figure out how we can use their home because it has so much equity to help their situation. Right. And that is one of the benefits. That is a major benefit to owning your home. It okay. might not be the home you want. It could be a one bedroom, one bath. But if, if you have the opportunity to own a home, jump in and, and check with Paige. He mm -hmm. is so incredibly patient and he, and he loves what he does. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is that, it, like he said, it's our ministry. 
This is what we do to help people. It's what we are chartered to do. It's part of our purpose. So it comes natural to just, you know, walk you hand uh, step by step mm -hmm. and um, get you into what you want. And now the, the, oh, I think that a lot of things that, um, one of the things that the buyers may um, not understand is that it takes a year at least yes. right, to prepare yeah. to get into a home. It's not just, oh, I'm going to go check with Paige and see if I can get a home loan. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because sometimes, sometimes you have to budget, right? You have to help people like form a budget. Like, hey, this is how much you guys make. Okay? This is how much your current debts are. So what can we do to help improve your income to debt ratio so you can qualify? Sometimes it's, hey, you're, I'm going to get a raise, Paige, or I get a big bonus, or um, I'm getting licensed. And so it's going to raise my income. There's a million things that can change with your income where they're at today. And we talk about, hey, so what's the possibility of you getting a raise? Are you going to get, you know, finish schooling or do certain things to get their income increased? Or they're going to get married, right? Um, so there's tons of conversations about income. And then we talk about their bills like, okay, hey, well, this car loan is going to be paid off in a year. Well, hey, that's going to give you 70,000 more in qualifying power, right? Or, hey, maybe we refinance that car because rates are down, right? You know, all these questions. So, or we work on paying down the credit card debt. And when you pay down credit card debt, it's not only going to um, increase your, I'm sorry, lower your income to debt ratio, but it's also going to raise your credit score, right? So there's all these little tips too that I know with how the credit bureaus score and use the FICO model for their scores. I'm coaching them how we can improve their credit score. Higher credit score, lower interest rate. Lower interest rate, that means you can afford more of a home, right? So there's all these little questions, you know, that I go through with my clients and every situation is different, right? People have, you know, more debt than others. Some people have no credit. So I have to help them establish credit, right? Yeah. So there's a ton of little conversations that we have to educate and coach because they don't know how the scoring model works. They just know, hey, my score is this. Well, this is how do I can how can I improve it? Or I help them fix bad things that are on there because sometimes there's mistakes or things they didn't know. So mm -hmm. hey, this is how we attack this and approach this and how we fix it. So, anyways, it's just all these great conversations that I have to get people ready because the more you wait, the longer it's going to take. If you delay, delay, delay the longer it's going to take you to achieve your goal. Okay. Yeah. And let me say that the service that Paige provides is invaluable because mm -hmm. I don't, I personally don't know a lot of lenders that will take the time to do that mm -hmm. to the extent that Paige does. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, he goes above and beyond. He will, he will make the time to chat with you. And then we team together to make sure that we're providing the best service. Because mm -hmm. again, he has, he does the money side and I do the shopping side. So then we figure out, you know, the back, the background that a lot of uh, clients don't see is we spend a lot of time on the phone going, okay, well, this is the price point. Here's the HOA. What else is going on so that we can say, okay, this is, this is going to, if you want this property, this is going to work for you. Whereas, you know, a lot of times buyers just don't know that information, right? They like the property. They just want to go in and they figure, okay, I qualify for 500, so that should be fine. But then you have to consider the HOA as well. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. part. That's part of the whole loan. So Paige and I are in the background trying to figure it out to see how that can be done. And then we talk to our, our client and help them process whatever information that we provide for them and educate them in the process as well. Yeah, and just giving them action steps too. And what's the next steps? Because right when you get into escrow, it goes so fast. There's so many moving parts. It's so overwhelming with all the disclosures, with the inspections, with the appraisal. And, you know, my job is to say, okay, here's what we do first. Okay, after we do this, here's the next step. Here's the next step. And keeping it simple, not just overwhelming you with, hey, here's 30 tasks. It's like, okay. And I coach them when we meet, like, here's what to expect. Here's the process. So, and each step of the way, I'm going to be coaching you and saying, hey, this is what we do next. This is the next thing, right? And so we're very, because sometimes in escrow, the realtors go away. They're like, oh, they're in escrow. Cool, I'm good. Now I'm going to go get new business, right? And no, that's the most important, crucial part is like making sure that they're taking care of all these things. The home is 
you know, in the right condition it needs to be if there needs to be repairs and that the loan's going smoothly. And if you've given your notice to leave and the move events come and it actually closes on the day it's supposed to, because, hey, you got to get, your you're, you're getting kicked out of your current place. Where are you going to go? Sleep in your U-Haul? So these yeah. are situations, the drama, turbulence that happens. I, we're proactive. We yeah, want to yeah. make sure you're prepared and that, we make the experience a positive and pleasant one because yeah. half the people you talk to, they say, hey, I love my house, but the process, oh my gosh, I was so stressed out. Communication wasn't good. Last minute stuff happened. And that's what you and I try to avoid because we've done this so many times. Right. We don't want to be high alert, high. It's already stressful and emotional, the process. So yeah. our job is to be the calming one. Hey, we got this. This is how we handle this. This is what we do next. Blah, 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 right? Just making sure that your hands held the whole time and you're comfortable, even though when anxiety is high, it's like, okay, this happened. This is how we handle this situation, right? Yeah. So it's good to get them ready for that. No, we're, we got their back. We're in their corner throughout the whole transaction, right? Yeah. And I know a lot of realtors and lenders say that. I know. Uh, <laughs> they don't. You know, because you know, we're chasing them. Like, hey, come on, do your part. All yeah. Parts ready. You're next. <laughs> yeah. And it's true. That, and I don't leave my clients. I still am um, in contact with a lot of my clients. But even mm -hmm. after the loan is approved, I'll call and say, OK, this is happening. This is what's going to happen next. Just like Paige does on the lending side. I do that with the real estate side. Let's get you situated. Don't forget to turn your utilities on by the time your move in date is. And this is what to expect that on the day that we close escrow. It's very, very important to me, and I know as well as to Paige, is that we go hand in hand with our client because it's a lot. I mean, it's like signing documents, reading documents. It's a ton of stuff to do. And we want to make sure that you are taken care of and have a positive experience, not because, not just because of business, but because this is the core of who we are. We yep. don't like to put people in situations that we wouldn't want to be in. And we treat people with a level of respect and integrity. So yes, um, Paige, we are coming. We got about a couple of five minutes left or maybe a couple of minutes. Okay. So I just want to say that um, when you work, when you're getting ready to buy a home, mm -hmm. you want to work with a trusted realtor and a mortgage professional, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, to be able to alleviate your stress because it will be <laughs> stressful. Just be prepared for that. It's yeah. going to be stressful. Mm -hmm. And that's inherent to buying a home because it is one of the largest life events that you will go through other than getting married, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so Paige, before we head off, tell mm -hmm. me, do you have any, uh, any specific advice, advice to tell our listeners? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is, you know, get information. You know, if you're looking, you're thinking about buying and all that, there's all you, we can never time the market perfectly. Same thing with stocks, right? It's like, oh, should I buy Qualcomm stock today or should I wait? Blah, blah, blah. You, it's an for me, I see how the market is, even with rates going up, it's going to kind of slow it down a little bit because it's in a frenzy right now. It's not rational because rates were so low, money was so cheap. Now it's going up. So I think it's going to slow down price appreciation. Yeah. But I still think it's a good time to buy. I don't think you should wait because I hear people, oh, I'm gonna I'm waiting for the market to crash. Well, I know people have been saying that for six years. And there's been no <laughs> so, I don't think the market's going to crash anyways because of the lending side. It's not yeah. easy to get a loan. And these buyers have been vetted before in the wild, wild west, before the mortgage crisis from 2000, 2008. They were, I mean, if you had a pulse, you could get along with how liberal the rules were. Now they're very stringent. I, I know I'm being facetious here, but that's really how easy it was. Now you're vetted. They're going to check everything. Uh, everything. Everything. And they want skin in the game. So our job is to get you prepared and ready. So don't delay. Find out where you're at. And if you're not ready today, we're going to get you ready. So yeah. That's my best advice. Jump in. If you want to be a homeowner and own something, get information, get educated. Um, at least you'll know where you're at. And if you're not ready, we'll help you. We'll coach you. We'll get you ready. So right. give me hope. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, Paige. It's been a pleasure. We'll have you back in the summertime to see how things are going there. Um, okay. So everyone, thank you for listening. If you are looking to buy a home, contact us. Our contact information um, will be posted. 
if you are um, looking to sell and invest, give me a call at 619-665-9086. I um, offer a one hour complimentary coaching session. Go to my website at movingforwardforlife.com. And this summer, I am rolling out my uh, premier program called Discover the Beauty in You. It is a three-month program. Contact me for details. Let's see if this is a good fit for you. Our next show is May 13th. So excited to see what's going on there. And as always, my desire is to bring awareness, let you know you are not alone, and partner with you to navigate your path as you move forward to a life you desire. See you guys next time. Thank you for listening to Moving Forward for Life with Rosita. Discover your way home with me, Rosita McLaurin. Through my own personal healing journey, I've come out stronger and braver. I know firsthand how hard, how lonely and heartbreaking it is to continually live in pain. I will help you learn to face the good, the bad and the not so pretty parts of yourself so you can uncover the fabulous in you. Join me every second and fourth Friday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific. 